What's up, foodie fam? Foodie fam? We're back here. Welcome back to our channel, Roadie Foodie. And today we are at Chick-fil-A. I guess they got this new jump off called the Peach uh, Situation. Lupe, what is it? It's uh, the Peach Shake. They got a new Peach Shake. So I'm going to take a little sippy sip. Got some, some of my faves there. And then uh, we'll make it happen. We do have Lola in the back, so if you guys hear panting, my apologies. Oh, it's a, it's a good one. <coughs> I wasn't expecting for chunks of... Mm. So it's got... Oh, man. I don't know if you guys... Let's see if I can find a couple... Yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. You see the the ch the chunky stuff. <laughs> Not me, the shake. But it's got little little uh, chunks of pe uh, peaches in there. Mm. Like Lupe, don't show your food. But look at that. I don't. To some of you, that was probably disgusting. But to the ones that are family, that's normal. So that's pretty good. I've always liked. Um, so Five Guys does a decent shake. Um, Chick Fil A does a decent shake. I don't mind getting the shakes from there. Um, obviously, you can make them boozy if you're trying to get boozy. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm a little crazy. I'm I'm so I haven't had didn't get much sleep. Um, but I saw this and I was like, I love milkshakes. Milkshakes love me. Again, probably another 10% of my body, uh, baby fat, baby fat content is shakes. So, and then obviously I, I couldn't go there without getting the Sammies. So this stuff, I'll tell you guys a quick story about my first experience with Chick-fil-A and this sauce. Man, I have probably like 40 of these packages at my house that I sometimes use on like sandwiches I make at home. So this sauce right here is the ish and i just got their regular deluxe i never i don't know if people get it i don't know if people get it get the actually this might be a better thumbnail hold on you guys like this thumbnail if i use this thumbnail you guys just saw the thumbnail should i do one of these one of these i don't I think I'm gonna start doing the thumbnails in the video so you guys can see the process of it. But let's do like a like a regular person one. There we go. Good enough. Mm. That threw me for a little spin. You guys already know the rules. Dip dip. I can't have this sandwich without the dip dip in it. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry, the tomato came to party. Tomato was like, you ain't leaving me behind. Tomato was having a little FOMO. Um, how you doing? So the first time I ever had Chick-fil-A, might be a good series right anytime if i can try to remember when i had the first or something mm. so i was with the senorita we were we we just met we were driving through the west side of the country and we were going through we were trying to we were making our way to zion national park which you guys already know national parks is my ish especially camping love camping i think that's why i would do so well with rv life Because you get a little bit of the both best of both worlds, right? Get a little camping. 
but you can keep it mobile. And here's the best part. We can still do eating videos together, guys. I'll just do them inside the RV. So. We're going through Zion. Yeah, I can remember there's a city. There's a city called St. George. And I only remember this because of two things. One, I also got a Diet Dr. Pepper. One, they, um, <clears throat> it was the first place I had Chick-fil-A. And they were so freaking nice. Oh, my God. I think at that time, we didn't have Chick-fil-A in Rhode Island, honestly. I think either that or it had just been announced that uh, they were coming to Rhode Island. Everybody lost their minds. I mean, there was there was like an hour long wait. It might be that it might be like that for cities that don't have certain things when they're new. Mm. So we ate there. Super nice, right? My pleasure, my pleasure. I'm like, wow, that's some great service. Um, by the way, guys, this. This is the, this is the, uh, if there's a Jordan and a Scotty Pippen Matt, uh, dream team, this stuff and this stuff. We have this, we have this in that drawer. You know that one drawer? It's not junk drawer, but it's like semi-junk drawer. It's the miscellaneous drawer. I don't know how long they've had this, but ever since they had it, I was like, I need, I need two and two. Two and two what, sir? Uh, it's Brody Foodie. I need two and two. Oh, Brody Foodie. <laughs> Honey roasted BBQ and the uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. We got you, fam. It's just so good. Mm. Butterfly almost came in here. So we go on the super nice. They actually came. So you don't get this at fast food places. They came up to the table and they're like, would you like a refill? I thought the first they were gonna come, you know, you go to some, some of these fast food places, someone comes to you, like an employee, it's always something like, uh, we're closing, can you please leave? <laughs> like, well, I guess we're not wanted here. But no, you go in there. I asked for uh, two refills, I got two refills. She hooked me up. I was like, man, they're so nice. And I think we ate there, <laughs> I think we ate again. And even the the Chick-fil-A's here in Rhode Island, they're super nice too. It's raining. There's like a always somebody out there, they have like this like this body armor slash umbrella thing where they'll just have people, they'll be taking orders outside. Mm. And the second reason why I remember Saint, the city of St. George, I really hope it was the city of St. George because I'm going to sound really dumb. Was that we ate at a place. I forget the name of it. Oh. I didn't want to party anymore. Sorry, guys. It's like super windy. You guys are probably getting tossed around too. Um... Sorry, guys, I got mesmerized. Sauce mouse! Oh, so much good sauce. Oh. We ate. Sorry, guys, let me see if I can stabilize you here. There we go. Hopefully that works. We ate at this cafe place that looked eerily like a Panera bread. We thought, the way my mind works, going, oh man, these people stole the idea from Panera. Took the plates, took the you pick two option. But, come to find out, it's just like Carl's Jr. and uh, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. Same, literally, same concept. 
just two different names. So that's what I figured out. Um, but great first experience. And uh, I appreciate the amount of sauce that they allow you. They literally, they can't, I, th I don't think they're allowed to say no if you ask for like 20,000. Like, right, what's today's shipment? You got two cases? Ship it! I'm the Subaru outside. Let's go. Can you imagine me rolling out with my dolly? I'm here for uh, Chick fil A sauce and the honey barbecue roaster. Like, sir, you can't keep doing this. Um, yes, I can. Um. So, now obviously, Chick fil A has like a, a very distinctive um, recipe. So, I do have a friend who she likes to make uh, Chick fil A sandwiches like a healthier version, and it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. There's also a couple of YouTubes out there too that like what folks do is they take the fast food recipe and they do like an imitation version of their house. This is good. It has a um, I wonder what else is in it because there's like an aftertaste. It's a very dairy rich. It's a very dairy rich aftertaste, but it's good. I would definitely order this again. Oh yeah, that's a, I keep forgetting to do when we do <laughs> the national chains. When I order it again, I would order this again. But I would drink it like right there and then. <clears throat> it's a little melted because I wanted to enjoy it with my with my foodie fam. Okay, guys. So, post meal Q and A skis. First of all, I want to say thank you to uh, Bernie. Bernie left a message, left a uh, a comment on one of the on one of the previous videos, saying like, "Oh, I you almost said my name. It was so close." And you're right, Bernie. It was really close. I just. I get embarrassed when I uh, mess up. Not that I get embarrassed. Maybe embarrassed is a strong word, but I don't want uh, you to feel embarrassed uh, because I mispronounced or missaid somebody's name. Uh, so I try to always be definitive with what I say, but obviously, guys, I'm only human. Yo soy un humano. Lupe, that's not good Spanish. I know. So... Uh, Bernie, thank you for all your comments as well. Bridget had a really good question. Um, she said, what would you do if after taxes, after the government got their slice, government's got to get their slice, guys. There's no ways around it. You can try to go around it, then you end up like Wesley Snipes. Getting some, that, some of that coveted jail time. I don't want any of that. So... Uh, she asked, what would you do with a hundred milli after you get hit with the taxes? I, I'm sorry. After you get hit with taxes, you get a hundred milli. Like, what would you do with it? And that's a tough question, right? Because I would give different answers at different parts of my life. Obviously, when I was younger, um, I would, it would probably, half of it would be gone in a month. Uh, just from being a complete young maniac of a man I used to be. Uh, you know, stupid things, right? This is just bread and tomato. But you put a little sauce on it, it's a sandwich. See, and it's weird, right? Because 100 million... Let me preface it by saying this. You can definitely blow $100 million in a lifetime. But it's hard to do that if you're just a regular person. And I consider myself extremely regular. Um, 
you know, the older Lupe now would be like, hey, just put it into an account, live off the interest. You know, get a couple million back every year. And that's enough. Maybe start a trust for a foundation where I can, you know, kind of the, the big three that are, have always been part of my life is Oh my god. I thought I ate a piece of the plastic. Um, if you guys follow a a YouTuber called Mr. Beast, he's obviously a lot younger than me, but he's one of those YouTubes where he's made he's made such a great career out of doing extreme things, but in a fun way, not like we're gonna hurt anybody way. He he does a lot of cool things. I think David Dobrik kind of does this too, where they just randomly give away like $10,000, right? And what a great gift you're able to, to do for someone, uh, to bestow upon them a nice little blessing like that. And even if you did, Right, what's that? Uh, 10 times 10 is 100,000 uh, times 30 is 300,000 times 10 is 3 million. So, and you do a couple extra here. So even $5 million a year giving it away, you know, you wouldn't be able to blow through that money. It would take you 20 years just by giving it away, you know? But that's why it's so important to start a trust so that it accumulates interest and the money can't be used for anything else or be you know, mismanaged. So I would basically just travel around the U.S. I would start off with the U.S., then work to North America, South America, and then the world. And I would just, I'd be able to hire a small, tiny little production team. Let's just go eat around the world and then every town that we visit in, let's do something good. What it is, I don't know. Maybe in one town, we're giving away, we're writing a check to, you know, an animal shelter. And the next town over, when we visit them and eat their food. Excuse me. Um, you yeah. know, we're helping out with foster children. Go to another town. Maybe they got hit, you know, they got hit really hard by a natural disaster. So we're helping out the local, you know, development corporation. So there's just so much to do. There's so many causes, you know, and I always, you know, you are, you are, you're more prone to support causes that affect you personally. Or that affect the people around you personally. So, you know, I knew that breast cancer was a thing, but I really got into it when uh, one of my best friend's mother, when I found out that she was a lifelong survivor of it. So we got super involved in that. And then, uh, you know, the uh, Leukemia Lymphoma Society, uh, when I found out a friend, Lindsay, who had a uh, high school friend passed away and how it affected her so much, um, I got involved with that. Um, I've always been uh, super interested in um, helping out foster children. Um, the Senorita is adopted. So, you know, we've done a few things with uh, the local uh, adoption Rhode Island. So... You know, it's what affects you, what affects people around you, and what you care for. You know, obviously, I'm big into arts, so I would love to, you know, nurture a lot of the art program and music programs are being cut from schools, which is an outlet for a lot of kids out there that are just being driven back. And if I ever get the chance to be blessed with children, there's three things that you need to expose them to. You need to expose them to a sport. Right, teamwork, working together. You need to expose them to a musical instrument. That's just proven time and time again uh, to help out uh, the mental capacity uh, of, of a growing brain. 
and to keep it stimulated. And then third, uh, some sort of art form uh, beyond a musical instrument. So drawing, photography, videography, editing, painting, uh, uh, ceramics, clay, pottery, whatever it is, something in the art realm. So, you know, I, and, I, and a lot of those really uh, important aspects um, that were in schools are being drawn back. And I think that that's a shame. I think that that needs to be reinstituted. Um, and then obviously you guys know I'm a huge dog lover. Lola's in my back seat. Lola, you wanna say hi? Where are you? Where's your little face? Wanna say hi? <laughs> She's like, just give me a nugget, son. Um, so this video is getting way too long, guys. I love you. Uh, Bernie, thank you. Yeah, and you're right. I was going to say Bernie. Uh, Bridget, thank you for the great question. Uh, Jim, we'll tackle your question about uh, food trucks uh, in another video. And uh, unless we already did, I can't remember. I'm trying to keep track of all the questions, guys. All right. Uh, Till next time, guys. Uh, -da -da. -da -boop. Peach, shake. A great option to mix it up too. Like, you know, obviously the vanillas are always going to be there. The chocolates are always going to be there. I think they got a cookies and cream. They got a coffee one. They got all the peepity boops there. And then obviously you can't go wrong with the, I mean, with the with the original Sandy. Make sure you make it deluxe. I never, I never knew somebody who would just get it just with the patty and the bread that just sounds weird to me but you know different folks different <laughs> i need a nap different strokes for different folks yeah see i don't know if you guys can see it it's so hot everything is melting all right my soda officially got watered down until next time guys please like comment subscribe uh, I've started a uh, a note on my phone with the questions that you guys are asking to keep myself a little more uh, focused and organized. And as things go, you guys already know, I'm looking into getting a new phone, the new iPhone, because it has an amazing camera. And then I can use the phone that I'm use on, using right now. Uh, I'll use it just for like uh, writing down questions and be able to look and reference it. But until next time, guys, be well, eat well. Make sure you are a guardian for dogs and take care of each other. Ciao.